Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. As you can see, we have two alocasias growing in the same pot. This is alocasia green shield. I will put the scientific names of both the uh, alocasias on uh, the screen. This is the first one and this is the second one. Now guys, always remember if you have uh, certain plants like alocasias, colocasias or caladiums, uh, these plants tend to go dormant during the winters. Now, when I say dormancy, it's not like they tend to slow down their growth, but they tend to drop all of the leaves uh, like caladiums as well. They will drop all the leaves, but uh, the tuber, rhizome or the bulb will stay inside the soil intact. So you have to be extremely careful, especially if you have a lot of plants. Like I have a lot of plants and this is where I made a mistake that is luckily i don't throw any of the soil away i always store the soil and i keep for this reason now over here probably i shifted the soil from one pot to another wherein both of these uh, maybe the bulbs or tubers or the corns happen to end up in the same pot now imagine if i would have thrown away the soil thinking that there is no plant in this particular pot i would have lost both the plants so if you are a person who has certain plants that tend to completely shed all the leaves during the winters uh, ensure you keep these pots far away or you can probably label it i didn't label the pot i will do it soon i will also tend to put them in their individual pots because both of them are growing in the same pot. I will wait for them to uh, get another couple of leaves and then I will put them in uh, different pots. But I just wanted to show you. So always remember if you have caladiums, alocasias, colocasias, do not throw the soil away. I know a lot of people who have done this. They thought that their alocasia is dead. They thought it was rotting and hence they threw it out. But actually it was shedding the leaves for its dormant period. It tends to hibernate by dropping all of the leaves. So whether it's caladiums, colocasias or alocasias, please be a little careful. Uh, if you are not very sure what was there in that pot just keep that pot aside because a lot of times some of the plants just disappear from the pot during the winters and eventually when the climate gets a little bit warm they start to sprout back so luckily i happened to uh, keep this pot aside and i noticed that both of them started to grow back because over here the temperatures have started to rise it's already 30 degrees during the afternoons 30 degrees celsius so hence because the climate is getting warm a lot of my caladiums have started to grow and you can already see my alocasias have started to put out new growth. So if you are a person, you're not very sure, you have an empty pot, don't throw that soil away, keep it aside. Probably you might have planted some alocasia or colocasia before and now they have disappeared during the winters. So don't discard the soil, you can keep it aside. Uh, even if the soil is dry for the entire winter period, nothing is going to happen to them they will still survive the only time we tend to water is when we tend to notice that the climate is getting warmer that's when we water and they start to sprout back same thing goes with caladiums as well so because a lot of people have done this mistake they have thrown their soil away thinking that the plant is dead and then they have planted something else and they have lost uh, amazing beautiful plant that was actually hibernating in the soil so be careful if you have certain plants like this that tend to completely go dormant during the winters keep those pots aside if you want you can even name them on the pot or put a label or probably a tag in the pot so that you know that this pot has this particular variety and you do not discard the pot another important thing when such plants go dormant when there is no leaves at all please don't water it the soil has to be completely dry you can only start watering it once the climate gets warm in fact without watering itself as soon as the climate gets warm they start to sprout so that is the right time to water them keep the soil slightly moist and these plants do not like direct sunlight so ensure you're keeping them in a place where there's a lot of indirect bright light which has a good amount of intensity and they will do quite well these can be grown indoor but you have to ensure that they're kept in a place where there's a lot of bright light you cannot afford to keep them in low light conditions so guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.